from this problem? <laughs> what we have is we have a uh, linear problem, linear equation, and I, the reason why I know it's linear is um, because all my both my variables are to the first power. Um, there's no squaring or cubing going on, or there's no um, roots either. So uh, what I need to do is I'm going to graph this. I'm going to find the x and y intercept for this problem, and then I'm going to graph it. So one thing we need to know about x and y intercepts is if I can look at a graph, I have an x and a y axis. Well, an intercept, if you remember, is where a line crosses the, each axis. So if you notice, where it crosses the y-axis is right, I haven't moved, you know, here's our origin, right? Our origin is what we call 0, 0. I haven't moved anywhere, that's like our, our origin, our initial point. Well, if I go up and look at where the y-axis is, or the y-intercept, I have not moved at all on the x-axis, have I? So therefore, I know my, whatever my um, x-intercept is, it's 0, comma y. Meaning I have not moved at all in the x-axis, so therefore it's zero. Same thing, if I look at where the x-intercept is, I'll notice that I have not moved up or down at all to get to this point. So therefore my x-axis is x comma zero. Now that's very, very important for you to understand is that when I'm looking at my y-intercept, I know that the x-value is equal to zero. And when I'm looking at my x-intercept, my y-value is equal to zero. I don't have a y there anymore because remember, all coordinate points are x, y. So if I have a zero for one of these, I know that that value is zero. So what I'm going to do now is if I want to find the y-intercept, I'm going to plug zero in for x. So I say 3y equals 9 times zero minus 12. 9 times 0 is 0, so I get 3y equals 0 minus 12. Obviously, I don't need to keep on writing the 0, but I figure I'd be nice to you. I'll let you see where everything's coming at for us. So now I divide my 3's. 3 divided by 3 gives me 1. 1 times y is y. And I divide 3 on this side. And what I obtain is negative 12 minus 3 is a negative 4. So let's actually um, put some points up here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So if I know my y equals negative five when x equals zero, x equals zero, y equals negative four. So x equals zero, y equals negative four. One, two, three, four. Next point, x intercept. Y equals zero. 3 times 0 equals 9x minus 12. 3 times 0 obviously is 0 minus 12. Now I need to solve for my x, right? I need to get everything off the side of the x. So to do that, I need to say what is happening to my variable. I need to add the 12. 12 equals um, 9x. Divide by 9. Undo my multiplication of 9. So I divide. This is going to... Uh, Let's give me 4 thirds equals x. So um, one thing I probably should have shown you, when you have when x equals 0, y equals negative 4, we know our point is going to be 0, negative 4. Well, this point, x is 4 thirds, comma, 0. And 4 thirds um, is the same thing like uh, 1 and 1 third. So I'm going to go over 1 and then break that up into thirds, and be there would be my point. So if I connect those two lines, go out to infinity, I know that this point is 0, negative 4, and this one's at 4 thirds comma 0. So that's, my bad. that is how you're going to graph um, a line when given or when finding out the x and y intercepts. Plug x in for 0 for y intercept, plug y in for 0 for the x intercept, Solve them, get your two points, plot them on both axes, then connect, and you're good. That simple, right?